Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I have recently done a clip talking about um, how my hair has recently changed. Yeah, um, and it has, and, and, and it really, really has. And I have been taking... Um, I've taken a step back from my channel recently, but um, I've now come back. Um, but what I've noticed is that the effects of stress have kind of started to take a little bit of a toll on my hair. Now, this isn't a new thing for me, unfortunately. It's something which I kind of struggle with at times, but I haven't struggled with it for quite some time. In fact, actually, the last time I struggled with this was back in 2015. I'm talking about hair loss, hair thinning. Now, fortunately, through a range of different products and sort of experimenting of different products and things, my hair grew through a lot thicker. Um, however, having said that, you have to almost go through that sort of... You have to go through an element of it getting worse before it gets better. Now, for me, it seems and that's probably why, in fact, it is why, I'll just be very open and honest, my hair parts from this side now, just because... Um, the area is behind here. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to really, perhaps I will at some point, but I don't want to sort of start pulling my hair around and showing it at the moment. But it is in this area here. And strangely enough, and I can always remember because it's just up through here and just in up through here, there is an area where um, back in 2015, about the size of a golf ball size amount of hair, I lost and then I had thinning all across through the front. However, the density at the back didn't change, but the front did. Um, and it changed quite a lot. And of course, these type of things, you tell yourself that it doesn't matter, but it, it does, and it does affect your confidence. Um, so what were the things which I'd done back then when that happened? So back in 2015, it was a gradual thing over a couple of weeks. Um, there was a couple of products which I used kind of after. So the first thing initially what I done, I thought to myself, hmm, I need to cover this up. So what actually I done was I would, I actually started to colour my hair. And what I would do is I chose a darker colour, I mean, I don't recommend this at all, I chose a darker colour and um, <laughs> and it would stain my scalp. And do you know what? It probably, it, in fact, it probably made my hair worse. Um, in the end of doing it weekly, over time I didn't notice it, but my hair ended up very, very dark with a, with a build-up of product on my hair. It was a just for men's colour, which I used. Um, and, it, and it would look after my hair great. It would make my hair well-conditioned, soft. That wasn't a problem. And why I used it is because I left it on, it would stain the area of my scalp. Um, and then when the stain would wear off, I'd put it on again. So weekly, I was putting this on. I know, crazy, ludicrous, you should not do it. I don't recommend it at all. But then, of course, when I styled my hair, you didn't notice it or you couldn't see it as, as much. Um, and then, of course, with hairspray and one thing or another, I could cover it up easily so nobody would kind of notice, but I would know it was there. There was one occasion where a family member did point out they could see it, which I was quite hurt about at the time. Um, but, of course, I didn't let it bother me. And at the end of the day, if hair is all we had to worry about, wouldn't it be a wonderful world? Um, and, of course, as a lot of my subscribers know, I've had a lot of health problems uh, in recent years. So, to be honest with you, I've been expecting something to change in my hair. I have recently, I say recently, uh, must be coming on for nearly two years now, had a really great experience. Um, really great experience with Viviscal. So that may well be something which I um, I go back to to try, but however, it's expensive. I'll be very, very honest. Um, I'm not a millionaire. Um, I do work in finance, but of course, I'm not minted. So you do have to be careful because we, I think we all know, anybody who struggled with hair problems or hair concerns, that there are products out there which work, but they are expensive. Um, there is another product, which is my absolute ultimate favourite, which is by Surioxyl L'Oreal Professional, and that's Dimeroxidine. And I've had really great results with that. I've had a lot of questions and, and sort of people looking out for guidance um, of my experience of that. And, and it really did help, especially back in 2015. It helped my hair grow through thicker. It helped my hair grow back through much more fuller. Um, and it gives me confidence to think if something does crop up in my hair, then I can start to use, number one, stomach oxidine. If I want to, I can supplement my hair with Viviscal. I eat lots of fruits and vegetables, so I have a very healthy diet. I've always taken multivitamins and things, and that is because I have hearing loss problems. So that's trying to keep my hearing for as almost like a preventative measure. So I'm always supplementing my body with real 
high quality ingredients, uh, whether that be fruits, vegetables, as I eat a lot of that. I love dark green vegetables and things, so I'm forever lasting eating vegetables and fruits. And then I supplement my diet with um, uh, with a, a supplement such as Viviscal, which of course is initiated more for hair, um, but very often, I mean, Centrum for men, um, and there are a few other numbers uh, of different multivitamins I've tried um, and I've had good success with them and they and they do help I believe. Um, right now I'm not 100% quite sure what is going on but what I will say is it's very very similar to like what I had back in 2015. It's an area um, it's an area which is probably again the size of a golf ball um, and it's thin and I've already lost quite a lot of the density in that area. I've recently been on a couple of holidays and I just noticed that even with my um, the shampoos and conditioners which I spend an awful lot of money on my hair um, are stimulating and really trying to help with my hair. I've noticed that through traveling one thing or another when I haven't been able to take those products with me um, my hair has changed and I've lost a lot in about I'd say that it the last nine, eight to nine weeks, my hair on this side has dramatically changed. So I recently had my hair cut. Um, and unfortunately, the person who cuts my hair noticed as well that this side of my hair is finer. And when I have it in this type of style, um, this side was longer and bulkier, not longer, sorry, bulkier. And the back was certainly bulkier. Um, and the front was a little bit more thinner. Um, I could notice and when I showed the person who cuts my hair, she noticed as well. So what we've done, um, and I would recommend anybody to have this and have a chat with the person who styles your hair. The back of my hair, I've had some very, very soft sort of elements of cutting in. So there's like, you could say layering, but not to the extent of different lengths. It's just so it gives it a little bit more of a lighter effect, which I know crazy with fine hair, but I wanted it to blend a bit more. So at the moment I had a finer side, a thick, a thicker side and then fuller in the back so now it, it all blends a lot more so i've just had it lightly cut into a little bit which of course with finer textured hair can give the illusion of fuller hair thicker hair as well but what you want to stay away from is like layers and excessively cutting in the hair in the front if you're going to do that particularly for a woman watching this then stay away from layers in the front layers always in the back soft and there isn't there is actually something called ghost layers which you can have them so you can barely see them so always cut kind of, and another thing of course is that rapport with whoever cuts your hair so really having that great that communication and and hopefully that empathy um they will they will show that empathy because of course everybody wants to look their best whether you're a man or a woman um and it's not great whenever you see more hair in the brush more hair in the sink in the shower what have you um and i'm going through that i'm not letting it bother me too much because to be honest with you i've been expecting it for the last 18 months i would say just because of through losing my uh nan which has been horrific and i'm still having problems and finding that really difficult to come to terms with and that's the year anniversary pretty much now it's been a couple of weeks since that's happened in her birthday um i've had an awful lot of stress work's been very very pressured um phone's just gone off <laughs> so excuse me let me just turn that on silent um so yeah there's been a lot going on so to be honest with you i've been half expecting it so i've been using uh, all my different products which i go to uh use but however i haven't used the stomioxidine and the Viviscal for a couple of months now. Um, and of course, they are expensive products. When I used to start using uh, stomioxidine, Cerioxyl, back in 2015, it was an awful lot cheaper. It was only around £20. Some places now it's 30 35 And it's not a product which lasts and lasts and lasts, so it is expensive. So if you're having a problem and you need to keep using those products, it can be expensive. They're great products, they do help, so I probably will go back to them. But I have uh, sought the advice of a... Uh, I'm not sure of the term of what they're trained in, but they are uh, trained in their profession. Um, I love going to see um, my local branch of Holland and Barrett, and I've had a lot of problems um, and health concerns and things, and they've helped me with a more of a natural approach, more of a holistic approach um, to looking after my body um, with different sort of uh, things I could try. Um, so one thing I am trying right now is I've had a lot of stomach related issues as well and bloating uh, recently. It always happens, unfortunately, when I'm quite stressed out and I do have a lot of stomach related problems anyway but they um the person who i spoke to suggested that perhaps that um i would what's it called i can't quite remember now that i would benefit from taking um i'm not quite sure what it is a probiotic uh, more of like a friendly bacteria for my stomach so 
that's what I'm going to be taking. That's what I've been taking uh, for a couple of days now. I've already noticed a bit of a reduction in bloating actually straight away. Um, connection, you may think, what on earth to your hair? Um, well, apparently, if you've not got enough good bacteria in your stomach, um, then your stomach finds it really, really difficult to uh, absorb all the nutrients and things from the foods you're eating. So therefore, being that your hair is classed as a non-essential uh, sort of function in the body, your hair is the last element where it gets all those nutrients and vitamins what it needs. So that means basically your body will recognise everywhere else in the world, uh, in the world, in your body rather, and which is vital. And then your hair, as it's a non-essential sort of function, and then anything left will be thrown to your hair as to speak. So it's... It is fair to say that this side of my hair is struggling a little bit now. So hopefully I can report some positive change. And another thing what I have ordered and I'm waiting for it to be delivered now is a stem grow. And you can buy it on Amazon and it's a foam. It's got um, uh, creatine in it, I believe. It's got caffeine in it and it's got a hero product in there, which has helped. Uh, which is apparently said to help against hair loss as well. So it's stem grow and it's the defense foam. So that's what I'm going to be trying. It's £16 a bottle. So I've ordered two from Holland and Barrett's and I've ordered one on Amazon. So I'm going to be trying that in my hairline going forward. But you can, I mean, you can't see from here, which is great at the moment. And I hope that it doesn't get any worse. If it's anything to go by 2015, you can still see the density because I'm using a product sort of just to sort of give a little bit more thickness, fullness there, um, and you can't see that. Um, but if anybody does want to ask a question or anybody wants to know anything a little bit more, um, I won't show it right now. I probably will do, but I don't want to show it right now just because just because of how I'm feeling, to be quite honest with you. Um, but it is there. It is of a bit of an issue. It is of a concern of mine, um, especially as I've, I've taken so long to to grow my hair out and I do like this style and I think it looks really, really cool. Um, so the cut really, really helped and it's given it a little bit more lightness, a little bit more fullness in areas as well, which is great, particularly this side. This side in the back is absolutely fine, no problem. And so is the top. I know a lot of men will have problems in the crown area. I haven't got any problems there, amazingly, thank goodness. Um, but front, I do seem to have a bit of a problem with. Uh, so especially this side, always this side is almost like seems to be quite a sensitive side especially going through areas of stress in one thing and another so yeah that's what's going on with me at the moment so i'm taking the probiotic hopefully that improves health wise um, i'm hoping that it will improve the sort of the absorption of um, all the rich uh, vegetables and fruits and things which i'm eating and hopefully my diet will start showing signs of better better hair hopefully but who knows hair is very very difficult not one person's experience with hair is ever the same i think that's why it's so difficult to be able to treat hair thinning and hair loss um, but number one i would certainly recommend to anybody viviscal for men i had some really great results on that it is expensive i will tell you that straight off but i had some really great results with that and if I find that I'm not having any uh, beneficial effect with the probiotic and the stem grow foam, then I will be um, going back to Viviscal regardless of how much it costs. And certainly the Stemioxidine, I'm thinking of buying that because I absolutely love that product and I have, uh, I've had really great strong results and I've used it for a number of years now as a preventative measure throughout the year. Um, and it's just so damn annoying really that um, it's starting to be a bit of an issue. Again, um, it's... It's not noticeable. I can notice a bit of a difference. Um, but there we go. Um, but it's if that's all we have to worry about in this life, wouldn't that be great? Um, it is here, here at the end of the day, as I always say, it doesn't change the amazing person you are. So if you're in a similar situation and you think, actually, he's got loads more hair than me, then first of all, um, to be quite honest with you, <laughs> sometimes it's the know-how of how you style your hair as well. You can make your hair look more this side is concerning me at the moment but it's it's not a huge thing at the end of the day when you consider all the horrific and nasty things going on in this world um that's what puts it into perspective at the end of the day and as i say that's what we had to worry about wouldn't it be great but if you're sat there thinking he's got tons of hair then <laughs> then yeah absolutely every experience is different um I'm not wanting to cause offence, that's not what I'm wanting it to at, it at all. I just want to share my experience. If I find a product which works, I do want to share it with you as well, because I know a lot of people are in a similar situation. Um, it is a bit demoralising when you find that you've used all these great products, these expensive shampoos and things, and then all of a sudden you start having a problem. You would think that the preventative measure 
would kind of be there and would arm you from any of those issues. But sadly, unfortunately, hair can be just one of those things. You can get it to a great place, then all of a sudden it can, you can start having an effect. Doesn't mean to say those products don't work, just means that you've fallen off that wall and you need to start building those blocks back up again. Because obviously something is out of sync in your body, potentially. So always speak to a medical professional or a professional trained like, for example, the specialists sort of um, in Holland about are really, really helpful, particularly the one in my local area as well. That's somebody else you could have a chapter about hair. So talk to somebody, whoever it is, talk to somebody about it. Don't stay in silence about it because it really can affect your confidence going forward too. Okay, so that's where I am pretty much hair. So I like the style at the moment of how I've got going on. Um, like it as at the moment this side is not bothering me too much because I've got enough, start, um, enough hair to be able to sort of have it off to one side. I would not be parting my hair now from this side. Um, I've got no product in it at all, sort of hairspray or anything to hold it. Um, yeah, and you know what? Birthday tomorrow. So really, really looking forward to that as well. Um, you're going out for dinner and everything with family tonight, so that will be amazing going forward. Um, and if you are watching this and perhaps I've sort of... I've, caught something with you where you would like to know a little bit more information then absolutely feel free and letting me uh and i letting me know and i will come back to you as soon as i can thank you very much for being here as always it really does mean the world to me thank you to all my subscribers and do you know what if you're in the same situation you will get through this and eventually do you know what some of these things can just once your body sorts itself out it can just revert back to your normal um it did for me back in 2015 with using the stemioxidine uh cerioxyl denser hair solution and and with the help of Viviscal men as well and just changing my diet and really just trying to concentrate on the healthier things and, and looking after my body a bit more as well and trying to tone down stress so perhaps i need to have a look at that as well but if you wanted to know a little bit more it's the probio 7 i'm taking that's a probiotic for my stomach and hopefully that will help the absorption of vitamins minerals throughout my body and hopefully help my hair as well so i'm taking that one now and i just ordered the stem grow defense foam i ordered mine from hundred bars you can get yours from amazon as well well, as I say, any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks very much for being here, and until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.